the great things about being a biologist in the 21st century is the explosion of data that has come with cheap DNA sequencing and has allowed us to test ideas about evolution that Darwin could only have dreamed about, since he and his colleagues of the 19th and 20th centuries had to rely on phenotypic information to infer evolutionary relationships, that is, observations of the shapes of organisms and their behavior. The same was true for early microbiologists like Antony von Leeuwenhoek and Louis Pasteur, who were limited to visual observations of microorganisms and observing their reactions to things like light and oxygen. As microbiology progressed over the centuries, hundreds of such tests were devised and recorded in prodigious volumes like this, Berge's Manual of Systematic Bacteriology, Volumes 1 through 5. But over the past 20 years, DNA sequencing has preempted the simplest of these tests, and we can predict a lot of the properties of a microbe directly from its genome sequence. But there is still a lot of good information here. I've begun digitizing this information for bacteria from cold and polar environments. So far, I've imported data for 100 genera and 300 species of bacteria, with over 800 phenotypic traits among them. Still less than 10% of the total. If you'd like to help, please contact me. Together we can bring this valuable information into the genomic era.